Hello, welcome to Elevenses. Hope you've all had a good week. Perhaps you've been doing some fun things in between all the rain. We have had a little bit of sunshine, haven't we? So, the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And we bow our heads for our first prayer. Father God, we come together today. Build us together as your church, one family together in this place. Amen. So today we have Lizzie who's going to tell us our story. Over to you, Lizzie. In our story this week, Jesus wanted to know who the disciples thought he was. When people heard the stories about Jesus, they couldn't believe that he was just an ordinary man. They thought he was a prophet, like their Old Testament heroes. Arriving in Caesarea Philippi, Jesus asked his disciples, Who do people say I am? And his followers had a list. Some say Elijah or Jeremiah or another of the prophets. They even included some more recent heroes. Some say you are John the Baptist. Jesus asked them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. Now the Messiah was someone that the Jews had been waiting for, a person God would send to rescue them from their enemies. You are blessed, Simon, Jesus said, because God, my father in heaven, has given you this answer. From now on, you will be known as Peter. Jesus gave him this name because it means rock. On this rock, Jesus continued, I will build my church and even hell will not defeat it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you say is allowed on earth will be allowed in heaven. Then Jesus warned his disciples, do not tell anyone that I am the Messiah. I wonder how you would respond if Jesus asked you, who do you think I am? Do you think you'd recognise him? Now back to Diana for our craft. So in our story, Jesus continued that on the rock that he said Peter was going to be the rock, he was going to build his church. So I'd like you to build in some building blocks a church. I have a little church here, or a shape of a church that we have built in Lego, or you could build in junk modelling. So some cardboard boxes, perhaps some shapes of some tubes for a towel. Not all towels are square like our one. Um, I would love to see your pictures. I'm sure you can do a much better job than I have. And so if you can get an adult to send those pictures to us, we would all like to have a look. Thank you. We're going to bow our heads for our second prayer now. And our second prayer has a response line. You are the Messiah, the son of the living God. Lord Jesus, you came to earth and walked among us. You are the Messiah, the son of the living God. You have shown us the truth. You are the Messiah, the son of the living God. You are living with us, showing us the way to live. You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. We thank you and praise you that you are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Amen. So now we all say our family prayer that Jesus taught us together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Now we've chosen our song today because this is our lighthouse song. Lighthouses are quite often built on rocks and they're very, very strong because they're there to keep us safe. So enjoy the song, My Lighthouse. In my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. In the silence, you won't let go. 
in the questions your truth will hold Your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa, You are the peace in my troubled sea My lighthouse, my to show and actions, make us ready to take every opportunity under your protection and guidance. Send us out into the world to share your story, the good news for all people. Amen. We'll be back here on Facebook next week. We hope you can join us. Don't forget to send us some pictures of your building when you've done them and we will see you soon. And we finish with the blessing of God the Father Son and Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. <laughs>